Well, what do you know? We just found our first diamonds of the world. It's a good day. Digging out some of the steep slates so we have it for building if we want it. Ooh, good thing of it too. Gotta be careful because I know there's lava like right above us. Okay, gotta be a little faster than that next time. I went mining for deep slate and I found diamonds. Yay ha! What? Welcome back, kings, queens, knights, and peasants, to another episode of Night World of the Knights. Alright, right, now I did some resource gathering off camera. Most of it was uneventful. Let's see. I collected a f I collected some oak trees, expanded the tree farm a bit. Nothing too interesting. And I collected a bunch of supplies. And and while mining for deep slate, I ran into diamonds as you saw in the intro. So, I think we are doing good. So in today's episode, we are going to make our first build of the world, world an, a nice little bungalow uh, uh, with a great overlook of the beach. So I, so I hope you enjoy and you like my design. Let's get into this. Alright. I, I hope you enjoyed those highlights. So now let's get into more interesting stuff. First thing, I realized I forgot to put a texture pack on this world. So let's take care of that now. I tried downloading some shader packs. Bedrock doesn't have any good ones. And I don't have RTX. So we are going to go with the classic fantasy texture pack. One of my absolute favorites. And then I also want... I found an Optifine knockoff for Bedrock. Ain't quite as good as the actual Optifine, but it makes the glass look amazing. So we are going to do that. And then we are going to jump on in. Been thinking about what I want to do over here. <coughs> and I thought it would be cool to build a little beach hut. Respawn point set. So after a quick nap. Well, go do that. So I played around in creative mode to find out exactly what I wanted to do with this. I think I got a pretty nice design. Okay. Starting heal.
<laughs> so we're gonna go five high if you count the one that's in the water. Leave a space of five across. Let me go five high again. Ooh. Go five across again. Actually, we're only gonna go four across. So basically, it will be seven by six. Makes our foundation. Now we're gonna use some temporary blocks. Not way more than enough leaf blocks, so let's just use them. Now we are going to bring this out. Support on all four sides. Now, this ain't gonna be a huge build, but I think it'll be a, a nice little start build. OCD snake. Um, I left my coffee <coughs> table up at the tree farm. Oh look, a beehive. Ooh. 
Okay, just gonna plop that down for right now. I'm gonna make like, yeah. Start with 12 planks. Oh, and I think I made them of the wrong kind. So we'll need some birch planks and oak slabs. floor and we're going to take our oak wood again two three four five like before them. Okay. Now one slight difference here is we're going to have two cross pieces. at the worst possible time. Oh, that survived. 
Okay, since this is a beach hut, I kind of imagine it having like a palm tree. Palm leaves going over the top. Now, of course, I want palm leaves in Minecraft. So we are going to have to work with oak leaves instead. Now, of course, a good roof always overhangs a little bit. The best way down from here is obviously to jump into the water. So before I drop down, let's make sure I didn't miss anything. Welcome, mighty hunters. Today's mission is to bring an end to the horrible child-eating spirits of the water, the Kelpies. A Kelpie is a shape-shifting aquatic spirit of Scottish legend. They usually appear as beautiful and powerful horses, haunting rivers and streams. Yet this isn't the only form of trickery these malevolent spirits use. They are also known to take the ruse of beautiful women or other human forms to lure foolish victims into the water. Particularly fond of children, they will use the horse form to convince the innocent souls to climb on its back for a fun ride. But once mounted, the kelpie's hide becomes sticky and glues the victims in place as they are drugged into the water and drowned before eaten. If you encounter one, look for its bridle. If you can obtain one of the one, the spirits will become enslaved to you, as well as other kelpies. With the strength and sound of ten horses, they could become a powerful tool for your hunts. Now go forth, mighty hunters, and bring an end to this terror of the waters. Okay. Now let's give this roof a little more depth to it. There we go, that looks better. Okay, so that's essentially our bungalow outline.
Get ourselves a new axe. Now, what's the point of the beach house if you don't have a good view of the beach? So here, I'm just going to put a bigger window in. And yes, I realize I forgot to make glass for it. And I'll worry about that in a bit. Honestly, I plan to fill most of this up with chests for storage. So I'm going to leave these walls as solid walls. So that I can stack chests top to bottom on them. And of course we need our door. just the right amount, can ya? Or can we? Nice. soon. Okay, now as I said, we do need a bit of glass, and to get glass we need sand. We are going to go over here for our sand. Okay. Then. That just happened. Okay. So now, while we wait for the sand to smelt, for the glass to smelt up, let's work on this nice little under area. some sand to fill in the area a little bit, but for now... over here. Now 
let's just leave this open. Okay, I know exactly what I'm going to do now. work like that, but it will work like this. Let's use these slabs so we don't have a bunch of extras just floating around. Shall make some sticks. And a cozy little campfire. Oh yeah, I would definitely love to just be chilling here with my friends, you. See how our glass is coming. place anything down, huh?
Uh, fire safety tip of the week. Fire safety tip of the week. Do not walk in a lit campfire. So that is a little jungle hut. Ooh, I know what else. I know what else needs to be done with it. Well, I think that's a pretty neat little bungalow. Okay, so this is where I'm going to end the episode today. I hope you like my little, little beach hut. hut. And I hope you enjoyed watching. And now. Now, did you... Do you know what you call a witch that lives on the beach? That's right, a sandwich. Thank you all for watching and keep on rocking Knights of the Bedrock.